Welcome to the episode of Storage Legends, guys. It's a little bit of a sad day. We got another flood, and I'm just trying to make sure that all this stuff is uh, secured. And oh! oh. Dun 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 are still on two by fours. Um, man, I think I probably should go grab some help and just start taking stuff up, I think. Yeah, honestly, you know what? That's what I think I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna just start taking stuff and pulling it outside. Oh, man, this box right here. No, this is the Coca-Cola box, and it's all wet. That's my first box I'm taking outside right now. Oh. It's all wet. Oh, man. Man, oh, no. Might as well look at it. Oh, no. Oh, it's not that bad, guys. It's not that bad. They're still salvageable, guys. They're still salvageable. Okay. We're going to condense boxes. Ugh. Okay. I don't even know where he's from. All right. Well, that's not that bad. That's... Thank the Lord, we're still good. Okay. These are all toast in here, but a lot of those are all figures. This is insane. Look at how high the water is. Well, at this point, guys, these are still on the two by fours, and this is all of the boxes that I never went through. The fact that it's not on the ground purely is awesome. So I think at this point, I shouldn't worry about that too much as much as all these other things like the 80s toys and whatever the heck is actually under this and behind all this. Let's see if there's anything actually under this. Uh, oh, I think we're clear. This is my tote. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think I want to just start taking boxes and just put, like, taking them out the basement. So let me get that done. I kind of turned the camera on because check all this out. I mean, it looks like another awesome box, but I don't really know how much I can enjoy it. Look at that. Wow. All of the original box. Baseball, cellulo packs. What's under there? Mm. Oh, looks like another baseball set. Ah, oh, man, I don't even want to put anything down. You know what, guys? We're going to have to re-go through this box because I just cannot believe how crazy and wet and out of, out of co coordinated this I don't even know what I'm saying right now, guys. All right, here, let me close this up and let me get to work for a minute and move a bunch of boxes because my basement just turned into a freaking swimming pool. All right. All right, we're still got these Barbies over here drying off. Putting them in separate sections. The Baywatch is toast. There's a lot of things that are absolutely toast. 
this over here. We're just taking things and throwing them out. Not throwing them away, but getting them out the garage, the basement. So, yeah. I think I'm going to kind of call back up and see what I can do to salvage whatever else I could. Thankfully, I mean, we did everything we can. We've been working so hard down here. And we've done everything that we could. But... crazy much this is just all stuff that I haven't seen yet see, I mean, we got a couple of drawers these look like all bolts yeah bolts bolts and bolts this looks uh, I don't know this looks really cool that's a tote so that's secure and and good in there. We'll move that aside. This is all bolts in here. We'll move that aside, guys. I'm solo. I kind of want to still show you stuff. Oh, look at this. Okay, we'll take that and put that up. Oh, this is so tragic, man. Let's see what's up there. What is that? I don't know what that is. Um, look at the Stanley over there. I don't know what is that. That's definitely a box. I don't know what that is. Right now we're under the tool bench, trying to look to see what in the heck was lost. Yo yo pro yo. Oof. Okay. Wow. It doesn't look like anything crazy in here. It looks like a lot of copper, though. That's definitely some money. A lot of copper. Pipes. That's probably something in there. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's just a bunch of... Screws and stuff. That's definitely some screws. Okay. Right now I'm literally in a puddle of water. Look. Puddle of water right now. Right, this would be awesome. that say? Punch. Cabana. These are all really nice pins. We're going to put those up there. Oh, what is that? What is that? a bunch of antique tools. They're probably going to put those up there as well. Thankfully, those didn't get rusted. Okay, what's in the box? Oh my gosh, guys. I just found a lockbox. I just found a lockbox. Okay, here we go. On the lockbox. Without further ado, let's see what's inside of it. Vintage fishing. I should have knew it looked like a tackle box. That's cool though. Oh, there's some baseball cards right there. Hold on a second. Okay, there's some baseball cards. What is that? Eighty-seven ten. Okay, there's nothing.
It's like three of them. Should I go back in there? I'm gonna go back in there. Oh, I'm, gonna go back in there. I'm going back in. It's a summer storm, I want those. Okay. I'm going back in. Oh, that's a huge mouse trap. Wow. I'm More yo-yos. All ECW yo-yos. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this, guys. Chelsea. Sheesh. Oh, man. Stinks down here. Okay. Super wet. I want to see what's in here. Okay. Ugh, man. Whew, man. This is nuts, guys. Well, we're just traveling the basement. Let me see. Oh my gosh. What the heck is in here? What is in here? Okay, just some junk. Yes. Okay. Those are gloves. All right, guys, we're not doing too bad. That says Halloween. Ugh. A lot that just got to get thrown away. I mean, that's it. A lot just has to be thrown away. Okay, we're digging in this side of the bench. I'm trying to see. Oh, man, there's so much water. So much water just going everywhere. Oh man. Wow, guys. That's it. A lot of good stuff here, to say the least. Keeping the camera rolling. Yeah, look at all that. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at, look at all of this, guys. This is $1,800 basketball box. Guys, I got to get these out of here. I got to get these out of here immediately. Okay, I'm going to pause this. I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll tap back in, guys. All right, it's happening back in. All right, these are all... Oh, thank the Lord. These are still cool. These are still good. They're still dry. Everything is still dry. The NFL box is still dry. 
I'm gonna just get it out so that it's not wet by any means. Just gonna show you guys, look at those action figures. What is that? Oh my gosh, it's nothing but Star Wars toys in there. We're gonna have to re-go through these boxes. Oh, the socks for Mitchell and Penny. Oh, let me grab these. The socks are still dry for Mitchell and Penny. Okay. Look at how much water is actually, look at how much water is actually down here, guys. That's gotta be every bit of four or five inches of water, guys. That is nuts. Look at all these baseball boxes that are, thank the Lord, are not wet. There's a lot to throw away, to say the least. Let me keep moving. All right, guys, tapping back in. Okay, thank the Lord that. Let's aside. Look, it's right above the water. Thank God. Look at this. This is a miracle, guys. It is right above the water. Oh, and it doesn't even. I thought it was score NFL, which is good. But look, it's basketball. Oh. No way. Jeez, these are going on the auction, guys. Wow. All right, let me get these out. I'll tap back in. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, guys. The two by fours came in handy. I open this up. Look at this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, all right, here, it was cards, guys. I'm gonna show you later. I'm gonna show you later. Okay. Way more cards. All in there, guys. I'm trying to balance the Barbies. I don't want anything else to get wet that doesn't need to get wet, guys. We've taken enough losses down here. We wanna make sure that everything is as, uh, as best as it could be at this point. So I'm still moving, but I wanted to check back in and show you guys that. These are all cards. Look at that. Wow. Old school. Old school cards. Look at that. Is that Terry Bradshaw? Sheesh, guys. Wow. Incredible. We want to secure these guys. We don't want to get them wet. We want to get them out of the basement and into a dry environment. 1976 base football. All right, checking back in. I got somebody bringing over a sub pump. A plumber's coming. We pretty much eliminated all these boxes. We have a little bit of empty space in this tote right here. I don't know what the heck. I don't know what's in here, but we might as well check it out. Ooh, a bunch of cool vintage toys. Super sweet. Oh, man. Vintage treasure hunts. Vintage treasure hunt. Hot Wheels. Looks like a complete set in there. Taz. Oh, lunchbox looks full. Oh, it is full. Tons of other vintage toys. Oh, man, look at that. Michael Jordan. Nice. What year? Gotta be 90s, isn't it? 99. That is sweet. There's two of them. Wow, there's two of them. That's sweet. Okay. I'm gonna try to put this back in the best way possible. Oh, we could put maybe a couple Barbies in there, possibly, if we do it right. Okay, I'm gonna grab some Barbies. Okay, so I moved the log. This right here spilt. Look at that, guys. That spilt. I haven't got back to it. I just, I found this bag of pennies. Where's that? I found more pennies. 
and this nice Tonka truck with this this, with this uh, nice car right there. Both die cast. The pennies were on this though. I wonder what's in this. This looks insane right here. I really wonder. I want to have like a nice little slip and slide area so we can like slip and slide. Okay. What the heck is this? Some freaking rip it or something. Cool old school bolt cutters. Wow. Number one right. New easy bolt cuppers. KLP. These are cool. This is something I like. This is my favorite tool. Never can remember my keys, guys. Oh man, look at all this stuff over here. These look like just boxes. Boxes. Looks like that's a box too. What's back here? What is this? box as well. Okay. That's definitely not a box. Hmm. What is this? Parts. Hmm. For a hummingbird, I can give this to my grandpa. He's supposed to be by the window. Let me see if this is in there. And it's in there, guys. It is definitely in there. That's cool. We'll have to set that up. Might be important papers. Let me check them out. These were all papers and old bills and things like that. We never show things like that, guys. There's no no use on that. Look, look at this, guys. A bunch of bunch of old Steelers cups. Those are cool. And that looks like more important papers, bills, and things like that, guys. Remember, we never show personal items, even in storage units, guys. So at that point, you know, we'll probably just. Start moving stuff out, moving stuff around. I did find some pennies here, and there are some pennies down here as well. So those are kind of, that's kind of cool to kind of have all these pennies, these rolls of pennies still kind of floating about. Let's see if they can stay safe. I throw away all these personal papers and keep working, guys. All right, so... We have a sub pump literally taking out all of this water. I wonder where the... Yeah, we're just gonna have to put it out right here. Yeah, that's it. We have a sub pump literally taking out all of the water as we speak. Yeah, it's coming out. All right, nice. Okay, there's a lot of water, but it's gonna come out. Okay, we got a new extension cord here. Let's see. Okay. No. Plug this one in. Plug what, this one? Yeah. See, my sub pump, if you directly plug it in, it doesn't stop running. Right, exactly. You don't want this. this. It'll burn up. I don't know. I don't know why my sub pump would just go out. Let me see. Man, they go bad. I mean, they do, yeah, they do go bad. Yeah, it's definitely not that scenario. Bad. I gotta throw away all these bottles. Ugh. Sucks. 
What do you think? Nothing. No, man, the sub pump's bad. I can't believe that it just broke like that, though. Unless, unless it's turned off under the water. No way, in it? All right, guys, so I'm just checking in. We've been draining the water for quite some time now. We're putting the active sub pump where the damaged sub pump is because that's where the pretty much all the water is at this point. Well, let me go make sure the hose is all right. All right, guys, make sure the hose is all right here. Making sure the hose is good. Okay. Oh man, so much water though. All right, fast forward to right now. We got all kind of water out, guys, look. My feet are not splashing anymore. Look at all this water we got out. I cannot believe how well this sub pump worked thanks to my buddy over here. And now all the water is officially back into this hole. Look, there's no puddles. I can't believe it. It only took like, how long do you think it took? A couple hours. How long you been here? No, it's probably. I've been, I've been here probably a couple hours. It probably no, it was probably maybe about I don't know. I could know because as soon as you got here, my Uber Eats got here. Man, I cannot believe this. But we drained all the water out. Yeah, plumbers are gonna come tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, we pretty much got it pretty much drained right now. We're trying to get the last little bit. I'll unplug it right here. Oh, man. What a day. Wow. What a day. Not that bad. Not that bad. Ugh, gotta get everything out of there. All right, so we're trying to get this. This. All right. All right. Now that you hopped up here, all right. Our best bet is to the only way this is gonna work is if you you push it up when we tell you to. Me and you have to grab both sides of this and push it directly up to stand it up. Wait, so that so side's going up? This side is going straight up. But in order for us to do it the right way, both of us have to make it straight up for was, you could you could push straight. Push this side up. Guys, this is literally the biggest freezer I've ever moved. All the way. Yeah, but you got to put it up all the way when, it, when the angle's right. Because if you try to push it up right now, then the whole entire, it's not going to go nowhere. Really? So, yeah, so the well, best way... Yeah, well, we're gonna have to pull it back a little bit, but we need Kyle and me on the same page. So what me and you, what me and Kyle are doing is freezer, and we're gonna take it and put it at its highest point so that it can fit in this in this hallway. All right, All right let's see how this works out. Two. Okay. All right, we're grabbing this part right here because we're coming back a little bit. In three, two. All right, look straight up. Look straight up, Kyle. Look straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Lift her straight up. Yep, keep coming. All right, cuz, push straight. Keep coming, keep coming, Kyle. Keep coming. All right, good job, guys. Nice. Woo, baby. Nice. All right, come on. We're going to rotate this way. All right, guys, so we're making some progress. I got all that cleaned. I opened up this drawer and realized we never seen what was in this drawer. And we got a Space Odyssey number one. We have a baseball digest. We got look a baseball digest with Willie Mays on the front. Tons of cards, sports cards. Julius Irving. Look at that. Good finds here, guys. Good finds. Tons of cards. We wanna kind of get out. 
How cool is that? Like a Pittsburgh Pirates thing. Look at that. Baseball pack of cards. How cool. How cool. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing good. Good, good. I'm good. Good. good to meet you. I'm Guapo. Good to meet you, man. That's uh, Rocco. That's my friend America. And uh, and yeah, this is my house. Inside of it together. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so... Yeah, in a sense. I don't know if there's anything that's leaking here. I did put the water in... Like, I see like that. That's leaking right there. That, like... Okay, so... Yeah, this... Put this together right here. And get this. Get this off. Cause sub pump is officially on. All right. What do we got? So, so like I said, I think sub pump throws some quarter, mm -hmm. uh, quarter horsepower Liberty sub pump using the existing pipe and fittings. Give or take what you got there. Uh, flat rate six sixteen. Six sixteen to put a sub pump in? No way. Six hundred and sixteen dollars for the new sub pump, <laughs> and then you putting it in. Mm -hmm. That's and installed. Then, and then how much is the sub pump itself? I'd have to look. I think it's around two fifty three something. Two fifty three hundred dollars. Okay. Six hundred and eleven dollars is crazy. You know, sub pumps um, are about two fifty. And, kind of uh -huh. and then we have the pop up assembly on the vanity. That's one eighty two. Uh, I have to see if I have that. I might have to go grab it. And then the okay. fill valve would be one forty eight. Okay. And the fill valve. The fill valve is for, what? Is for that toilet. That's it's running. for that it's toilet. That's to fill up. Is that what it is? Okay. I don't know. Um, no, it's not. The whole valve is like broken. There's something up with that whole valve or something. In the sure. toilet tank. Yeah, in the tank itself. Yeah, so, that's, that's, yeah, okay, that's $616. Okay, what we'll do is I'll probably have to get back at you with sure, that one, man. Because that's yeah. a huge, that's a huge thing. I'm going to see what's up with the sub pump itself. Probably see if I can go price a few. All right, guys, what happened just right now is I had Rotor Rooter come over and kind of give me an estimate. I showed them everything that I would think that would apply to plumbing pretty much in the house, which was my bathroom under the vanity. There's a leak under that sink is good, but I do need to replace my faucet. And if you take a, let's take a walk to the basement over here. Um, in the basement, it's currently raining right now. So when we go in the basement, we're gonna see a flood as expected. That dog, come here. <laughs> this is America's new dog. He's a new legend. He's a new legend, yeah. His name is Rocco. And uh, he's he's already gone. <laughs> okay, so a lot's going on here for the most part because we do have the sub pump running right now. So yeah, I think, yeah, this, the water is currently coming out. Rotor Rooter wanted to charge me $616 for a sub pump and to install it. I felt that the best option was to price check on a sub pump and to price somebody just coming to put the sub pump in. It might save me about $400 to $500, guys. Who knows? I don't know. If it's 616 bucks and the sub pump itself is about two, 200, 250, you know, I could probably have somebody come over and, and put it in for a hundred bucks, and that's three fifty, not six sixteen. So we'll double check. If not, we'll give them back a call, and um, and then yeah, if we can pan around, maybe see. Look at how much stuff is actually out of the basement. There's not that much. Here. Wow. There's just a lot of work that still needs to be done in regards to all of the bottles that are on the floor. Over here is a lot of decor. We still have racks of mason jars in there. We still have a whole entire toolbox and not toolbox, but a whole tool kind of like shelf that needs to be cleaned out. Definitely a lot more valuables here, but definitely still a lot more work. But we've made great progress and there's still a lot of mystery in here too. Still so much to do. This area, let me see. Oh, there we go. Boom. Okay, so. Yeah, so there's still a bunch of Swisher Sweet boxes in there. Crayons. There's nail boxes up there. There's cards right there. We got an old Eminem Runts and Mike and Ike dispenser. Look at those, like the old school kind of like names. And I mean, we pretty much like, like I pretty, everything that's still on top of here, I pretty much have 
designated as not garbage. So, you know, there's like a lot of like this right here for an example. This is snap on, bro. 100% some money here. Just have to kind of organ organize, put all the tools where the tools need to go. Take it from, take it from there. Dude, you probably took the nastiest uh, dog so dump I've ever smelled in my life. It's so nasty. That was okay, so the dog took a dump in the house, and we're just going to have to kind of focus on getting that smell out because it was probably dude, it was like diarrhea or something. Nope, he's running around. He's so big, dude. Well, guys, we're back. It is Tuesday, and I know that there was no way for me to keep the sub pump on and running because the sub pump would burn out. Now we have a plumber appointment here coming up in about like 30 minutes. He is going to put in a new sub pump so that there won't be an issue like this anymore. My thing is, I wanna know how flooded the basement is. I really hope it's not that flooded. Oh uh, yeah, it's in there. It's actually in the, it's actually, I have that one just kind of next to the other one. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I get sucked out. Yeah. Reach my hand down, man. It honestly doesn't take long. It's crazy. It, it takes about like maybe 10, 15 minutes max. There we go. <laughs> I realize that this, this one's dripping oh. as well. Oh, yeah. That'd be a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's what I would do in this situation. Mm -hmm. If it's leaking there. Yeah. I'm trying to think about what would be the easiest way. Yeah, because it's leaking right on that elbow. If, if you take it apart, you're going to want to replace the valve. Okay. Your main valve. If you're taking it apart. Why? Just because it, it of the corrosion? It will save you in the future. Yes, yeah, it will. Yeah, yeah. And it'd be cheaper to do it all at once and get it worked on three times. So, so you be, look that would be this too. whole part, right? Yeah, you would disconnect that at the union. Yeah. Unthread on thread. Thread on new valve, hopefully without breaking anything. And uh -huh. then you, um, this is three quarter line. I'd probably end up replacing this T with a new drain. Just to do it another way with there being fast. Yeah, I'm lazy. Lazy. You don't need to replace this now, but when the time comes, this is going to be a fun one. Nah, to replace that. Why is that old cast iron piping? Yes. No way. I would cut right here. I pretty much just run a new piece up. Up on the top end. It, it doesn't just run it through the same way it was ran before. Uh -oh. Is it done now? But but it'll probably keep in the top. Yeah, you're just flip it now. Yeah. See, got this route, you know, I got all yeah. those bottles and stuff. That's next. All these tools. I got so much tools over here. <laughs> That's next. Yeah, tons of old school tools and dude, a That's bunch of stuff, cool. dude. Yeah, there's all kind of stuff, man. Stuff. Yeah, I like the old school vending machine that Mike and I can runts. And then this is my most, this is probably my favorite find today, dude. I got this thing. This Damn. is a snap-on. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, I think old this snap is snap-on. Yeah, old school snap-on. I think this is snap worth some money. Yeah, because I think snap-on replaces. They do. If you were to put, if you were to take that to a snap-on truck. They'll just give me a new one. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm you down. Take that on, let me give you a dry and pass though. Shopping because they stop in there usually on Mondays. At least in here on these stop at all the shops on Mondays. Just pull in when you see a truck sitting there and just walk out. And be like, well, yeah, just say, hey, I need this swapped out. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, so a lot of cool stuff, man, to say the least, man. I've been working on this. I kind of got this area clean today, so I'm proud of that. Um, and then, yeah, dude, all these tools, dude, like those are all worth money, bro. Those old yeah, school those old wrenches, drills. yeah, old school the drills, drills. Right yeah, dude. Yeah, so. all that collected stuff. Mm-hmm. Definitely cut out. This is nothing, bro. You should have seen when I first got here. Watch your head. The new sub pump is active. Well, it's not currently active, but it's about to be active. Okay. okay I'm going to let him do his thing. Oh, he's fixing it right now. Tons and tons of different bottles. Oh God. Jackson's World Tour 84. 
Is that Michael Jackson? No way. Mm. Ohio State of Presidents. Harrison Grant. Whoa. What does that even mean? Raft race, 1975. Indiana, Hoysiers. Oh, man. Pretty crazy. Notre Dame's over there. These are the old school Pepsis. And then there's this thing, which this thing, I don't even, I can't even explain. Guys, this is pretty nuts. Just the concept. That's the pipe that went into the sub pump. This is the check valve. So the pipe, this is attached to the pump. This goes up and goes out. Wow. So, and you're putting that in for free, man. Yeah. That, and what, what construction company? Olin Dick Construction. Olin Dick Construction. We're going to get, you know what? We love them. Rotor Rooter wanted to charge me six hundred and sixteen dollars for nut. They probably would have been like a check valve. That's four hundred extra bucks. So that came out in pieces. The drain. Yep. So they took off the trap that just fell out. Oh. This, this normally threads in the here like this. That's from the bathroom. Yes. Oh man, it was that bad. Wow. That's Proud ridiculous. Uh, I think there's a. I don't know. Yeah, here. There's a bottle right there. Yeah, there's a bottle of whiskey. No. Yeah, yeah, it's in there. Here, if I look at it real quick. Yeah, go ahead, man. Check it out. These so this cool. part, huh? Feels half full. Is it? It's probably half full. How do you get the bottle out? I don't know. My um, fiance's dad had the same exact car, but it's empty. So no I was like, way. If this is full. I was gonna buy it, but I don't no think it's way. full. It's like I feel like it's half full. That's yeah. What I'm saying. There shouldn't be that much room unless there it's is. Definitely. I just gotta figure out how to get the thing out though. Yeah, I don't know. You'd have to take the whole car if you were gonna buy it. It was it that would have to be something sentimental. Yeah. But that's sick though to put two by himself. Unless they just pulled that off, because that's that's so you probably cool. just take the whiskey out with the whole car. That's so crazy that they would make a toy like that back in the day, ain't it? I know it is cool. Here's this one. That's uh it's uh, probably at the bottom. It says nineteen eighty. Yeah. Right that's there. neat. That's crazy. And it, it's actually like a car. It actually like yeah, drives and everything. Ass. Yeah, it's sweet. We should have a different one because that's the same, literally the same as that car he has. Man, that's nuts, dude. That's good though, yeah, man, because that's like, probably sentimental value. When I first walked in here, I seen the car, I was like, no way. All right, so that, I just heard it. The new sub pump officially is installed. It's actually like a cool green color. So that's cool. And that is the old rotted. Nasty sub pump that's probably from 08. Oof. And then that's the sub pump that saved me. So a lot of sub pumps here. We're sub pumping. All right, so he was super duper cool. We got the toilet fixed. <laughs> Sounds great. And this is fixed. It's not leaking anymore. Also, we have a sub pump, so we're no longer going to be flooding. So, you know, we got the, we got everything solved. I got the garage I'm going. So rotor Rooter wanted to charge me $611 just to put a sub pump in and including the sub pump and Allen Dick construction. I think it's Allen Dick, Allen Dick. They charged me like $375 for the sub pump, installing it and fixing my bathroom. And that's even including the toilet. Run through a little bit. We'll probably get a little sneak peek at the garage. Mm -hmm. So let me see here. We got the Pistons flag. Detroit bad boys. These I believe are all God grant me serenity and courage. These are all uh thermometers. That's cool. There's dust everywhere. Oh cool. Whoa, what the heck is that? 
Okay, so I just grabbed it, opening it up. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, guys, guys, it's tons of cards. It's tons of cards. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this? What is this? Oh. Okay. What the heck? There's way more good stuff. There's so much more. We got Kathy over there. Kathy's outside. Okay. I gotta end the I gotta end the episode. I'll talk to you guys later. No, we gotta dig in this box. We gotta dig in this box. Here we go. Okay. I'm comfortable now that I have a nice dry tote. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what this is. This looks like a football box. Wow. And it's complete. It's complete. Yes, that's a good one. I think that's a good one. I don't know why I'm whispering. That's a good box though. Let's see what else we got. Oh man, this is a good, look at all these. Wow, 1991 baseball. That's sealed. I'm kind of whispering because I don't want to, I don't want to start oh Kathy. Okay, here we go. NBA basketball cards. Wow, these are sealed guys. These are sealed. It goes, it feels good to go from the flood two good news in the boxes okay let's see what we got look at all these wow it's like i'm just like passing these up as if they're not worth tons of money oh my gosh there's so many more sets look at that the Niagara edition put that on top of there what is this it says 1990 score baseball. Oh, oh, guys. Whoa, these are really good. Oh, man. That is a good basketball box right there. That is a good basketball box. Oh, I'm going to close it. Wow. No way. That is sweet. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think I see another one. Okay. Hang on a second. Ultra Fleer. That's a good set. We'll put that aside. Let's see. I don't, oh, okay. Fleer Baseball 91, 92. I don't really like to fondle with them, guys. I like to keep them in good shape. Look at that. Yeah, I like to keep them in good shape here. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Okay, sweet. These are sweet. Okay. Um Fleer basketball 9192. Ooh, those are good. Those are good. Those are all basketballs. Okay, hang on. Pro set platinum. You still got to double check inside, but we're not even going to do that right now. Look at this. Look at this basketball box. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. This one is in great shape. And it is complete. You can just tell. Wow. What a box. That is amazing. That is amazing. Okay, what is this here? This is uh, 1991 Skybox. And we got another Fleer basketball. Oh, we got a couple more. Score football. Look at this. Look at this. 1990 Baseball Fleer Complete. These are great finds, guys. I'm going to put them in this tote. And that right there. Score football. Oh, look at what's under here. More baseball final editions. Whew, man, this whole box is crazy. All right, guys. That right there is going to be the episode. I will see you guys later. 
the lesson for this episode is make sure that you call around when getting house jobs and contractor jobs done. I got double the work done with literally half the price, $375 or $475. I literally paid. Roto-Rooter wanted to charge me $611 just for the sub pump alone. Double the work, half the price. That's the legendary way. I'll see you guys later.